Hi, this is Info Puppet, and you're gonna love this tutorial on digital makeup. Check out my next Photoshop Elements tutorial. Alright, so Photoshop Elements 11 is open up, but this will work just fine in Photoshop Elements 10. I'm going to change the magnification to 200%. Alright, we'll scroll up a little bit here and move her over and make the window smaller. And now I'm going to click on this color selection and the color picker window opens up. And I'm just going to go with this dark pink color. All right, now I'm clicking on create a new layer. There's my new layer. Okay, now we're gonna select the brush tool. Photoshop Elements 10, just about the same place. The brush tool selected for PE 10, your slider's gonna be on the top instead of down here. I'm changing the size to 46 pixels, and now I'm just brushing. I'm so good at this, look at what I'm doing. She looks so beautiful, like a beautiful clown well we'll fix that we're gonna click on select the word normal and then select overlay now look at her she's a beautiful clown I'll fix that though uh, we're gonna go to opacity and turn it down to 40% that's much better okay now we're going to click on create a new layer again and I'm going to right click on layer 1 and select rename layer and I'm going to call this layer blush. Now I'm going to right click on layer 2 and select rename layer and I'm going to call this layer lipstick. This will help us see what's going on. Now I've got my brush again and I'm just drawing on the lips. I'm going to bring my uh, brush size down to about 14 pixels so I can do the upper lip because it's narrower. Looking good. Now I'm going to bring it down one more time to like 6 pixels to get the corners of the lips. Okay. I like that. So now what we're going to do is select the word normal again and again select overlay and boom look at that. Look at that it looks like hot pink lipstick. It looks awesome. Now I'm going to select the brush layer because I want to bring the opacity down on the brush, the blush a little bit and I'm bringing it down to 30%. Alright now I'm going to Click on the color again here. I think that looks pretty good. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is we're going to again create a new layer. And I'm going to right click on layer 1, rename layer, and we'll call this uh, I. Her ball looks great. All right. Now we're going to select the eraser tool. And look, I have my opacity at 25% because I just want to, you know, make the corners here look a little bit better. Now I've got my brush tool with a smaller size again. Okay. Again, what are we going to do now? Well, we're going to go to the layers panel. And we're going to change the word normal up top here to overlay. Boom! Oh, that's not the color I was looking for. So that's okay. We're going to fix that. Let's go to enhance and adjust color and adjust use saturation. Okay. You see this colorized box here? Well, if you click on it, this use slider I'm working will work a lot better. But it's okay for what I'm doing now. 
Now I think I'm gonna bring the lightness down just a little bit. That looks pretty good right there. Okay, I'm gonna click OK. And now, let's look at some before and after pictures. All right, so here is before and after. All right, let's check it out. Let's get a little closer. Let's look at before. And now let's look at after. One more time. Let's check out one more before. And now here is after. She looks beautiful. Hey, do me a favor. Click on subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching from Info Puppet.